Okay, in this video I'm going to take you step by step through the calculations to achieve a particular frequency with this A-stable timer. And the timing that we're going to use is going to be a frequency of uh, 2 Hz. Okay, so that's our target frequency. So we're going to have to choose values for these two resistors and the capacitor here. Now my advice to you is go for 1K for the top resistor. You don't want to go less than 1K. If you go less than 1K then you're putting a significant amount of current into the discharge pin and that's not advisable. So you want to keep it at least 1K. And there's not really any reason to use any other value so just stick with that. So now we've got two unknowns and because we've got two unknowns that's making it tricky. So let's just choose another value and then with that, with those two values that we know about then we can then calculate the one unknown. Now through experience I'm going to say this is going to be a, two, a 10 microfarad capacitor. Uh, as you get a little bit more experience you'll be able to plump for likely candidates like this one. And if I'm significantly wrong, in other words if I come up with some silly value much too high or much too low for R2 then I might need to adjust it but I think I'm probably going to be alright. Okay so now we need to calculate a value for R2. So to do that uh, first of all we need to write out the formula for calc calculating the frequency of an A-stable and the formula is the frequency F equals 1.44 over R1 resistor 1 plus two lots of resistor 2 times the capacitor. So now that we've got this general formula here, we can then put in the values that we already know. So we know the frequency, which is 2 hertz, so the frequency is just going to be 2, equals 1.44. We know resistor 1, which is 1K, plus 2. And we don't know what R2 is, so we leave that as R2. And we have decided that we're going to use, at least for the moment, a 10 microfarad. So 10 times 10 to the minus 6. So what we now need to do is we need to get R2 on its own. So then ultimately we're going to have a formula which says R2 equals, and then there will be a calculated value. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap these terms around and you should be familiar that you can do that in maths. So I'm going to write this out again so brackets 1000 plus 2 R2 uh, times 10 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 1.44 over 2. I'll give you a moment just to look at that. OK, now we could simplify this down because we could easily divide 1.44 divided by 2, which will be 0.72. So uh, let's just get rid of that 0.72. Now what I want to do, I want to, um, ultimately, I, as I said earlier, I just want to have R2 here. So I need to um, get rid of anything I can so I can get rid of this. 10 times 10 to the minus 6 by dividing this side by 10 times 10 to the minus 6, but I'd also have to divide 0.72 by 10 times 10 to the minus 6. So let's do that. So 1000 plus 2 lots of R2. Actually, I don't need the brackets there, but I've got them anyway now. Uh, equals uh, 0.72 over. So because we divided this side by 10 times 10 to the minus 6, we also have to divide this side by the same 10 times 10 to the minus 6 and then I want to get rid of this 1000 so let's get rid of that so I'm going to subtract 1000 from this side so I need to subtract 1000 from this side so what have we got left don't need that bracket there so what have we got left we've now got 2r2 equals and then all of this so I want to get rid of the times 2 so I need to divide this side by 2 so let's get rid of that well, that means then I've got to divide all of that by 2. Let's write this out again in case it's confusing. So R2 equals 
0.72 over 10 times 10 to the minus 6 and then once you've calculated that minus a thousand and then divide the whole lot by 2. So we're ready. So now uh, we can do the calculation of, let's just open the bracket, so uh, 0.72 over 10 times 10 to the minus 6 and I'll just go right there so then I can do the minus 1000 and then I'll close that bracket and then I want to put the whole lot over 2 and then I press equals and it gives me 35,500. That's ohms, remember. Okay, now if you were going to select a resistor, likelihood is you're not going to have one of that value. So in the E24 series, the closest value would be, let me think, 36k. And that would be plenty close enough. Uh, bearing in mind that resistors have a tolerance value, so that these ones are probably likely to be plus minus 5%. Not sure about the capacitor, it might be even plus minus 20%. So the difference between 35,500 and 36,000 is, is not going to be significant. Okay, so let's use a 36k resistor there. And then, so with the 1k, the 36k and the 10 microfarad, you'll have a frequency of approximately 2 hertz.